Yo, what's up guys? It is your boy Bugs and today guys I'm gonna be showing you every movement tech in off the grid. It's gonna be a long video, so I'm gonna be doing timestamps throughout the video, kind of showcasing every like movement tech for y'all, and y'all can just skip to whichever part y'all want to learn if you already know a certain type that I'm showing off. And let's get straight into it. So the first movement tech in the game is just slide canceling. If you don't know, you could slide in the game and you could cancel it by just un um you know sliding again and you could just get this. And this is like the second fastest movement by just um doing this over and over. You also could change it up with A and D or yeah A and D to you know slide left and right for your momentum. You can spam it as much as you want to get full optimization out of it, but because of you know the frame issues that we have in this game, I recommend tapping it with small pauses because there will be time where you hinder yourself and you will just like you know walk normally. But if you do stuff like this, you're able to um you know keep it going and stuff and not having your uh, movement stop um randomly because of frames or whatever. Another cool thing is that you can actually shoot while um doing this slide second to keep full momentum and go for crazy like plays. So for example, if I'm full running and sprinting, I actually could turn around, shoot my enemies, and continue with going like this. So and you have a lot of time um to change just make sure when you're doing this tech you have to position yourself aim wise back to where you were when you uncrouch because if you do that I mean, if you don't then you will stop in place but if you do it correctly like so you can just literally turn full around turn back around and keep your same momentum and continue going but for example if i do this and then un you know crouch i'm just gonna stand still because it's resetting but if i you know go shoot then turn around and then uncrouch and recrouch then i can shoot and every time you go for your shot, you have to be in the crouch position. So you have to know your timing of like when you're crouching and stuff so you can keep your momentum going. Because if you don't, you know, by spamming you like this, you don't know when you're actually fully crouched that you bug out. So you time it, turn around, keep it going. Time it, go around, keep it going. Time it, go around, keep it going. And yeah, it's pretty good. You can literally, you know, hit your teammates, or not teammates, your enemies with some movement. You know, go whap, 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 whap. Turn around, shoot them, and then keep the momentum so you're not a free, um, easy target to get shot at. Um, the second movement tech, and probably the most um, mobility-wise, is by crouching and then switching your weapon. What this does, it gives you a glitch animation, I want to say, because in reality, right now, you're just sprinting, but because you're switching your weapon and because you um, slide, you are actually doing this momentum right here, but in reality, you're just sprinting because, look, I could just turn around as much as I want because the game thinks I am, you know, just normally sprinting, but in reality, my enemies and everybody else sees me doing this, and they're like, what the hell is going on? And, yeah, yeah. Um, this is like the probably the hardest way to not get shot when you're trying to run away from your, um, you know, enemies and stuff. Um, another thing is you can also shoot um, in this um, tech. But uh, make sure you never um, let go of like, don't ever press the crouch button pretty much. So if you know the timing of like your weapons on the bottom right switching back and forth, you can actually go for quick shots like this and then keep switching. And then all you gotta do is hit the sprint button because if you don't hit the sprint button, you actually continue the animation, right? But look, now I'm in walking animation. Really see how I'm going slower? Now, after I go for that shot, all I want to do is hit sprint again so I can keep the full momentum. So I do something like this, and then I can just keep going after pressing the sprint button. And I can just keep going like that. See? And then the final movement tech by just um, doing slide cancels is actually slide canceling with the revolving uh, weapon chains. So yes, I did test this out um, throughout like a little speed run of using all mobility. This is the fastest way to get into this game right now is by slide canceling and um, switch your weapons at the same time. The second one is just by slide canceling just like so. And then the third fastest I guess is just normal sprinting and you know this sprint cancel animation because theoretically they're the same thing. So this is technically like the slowest sprinting way of going around the map. Second will be slide canceling like this, you know, um, sliding and canceling with your, with your slide crouch. And then thirdly, switching your weapon while doing it is the fastest as like I said, I did, I tested. All right, the next thing when it comes to movement is your um, your cyber limbs. Yes, so a lot of people don't know that there's not only mobilities with just, you know, your legs where you can do this and cancel. And for people that didn't know that, yeah, um, for your leapers and for your um, hammerhead, you can actually jump in and cancel your hammered leaps, or whatever the name is, by just jumping again and you'll go into a flight mode. But you also can have your um, arm abilities, you know? Um, for example, the slam fist. Um, if you didn't know, you actually can aim this wherever you want to keep your mobility or to, to gain mobility and um, use it as for flight. So, for example, most people probably just use it by punching. But if you really just look up, you can actually keep the momentum of the punch and go into your flight and stuff just like that. Same thing with the slash hand, but unfortunately, you don't go too high. So this is more like kind of going little hops or like building hopping, if you will say. 
Um, and if you didn't know, you could just switch um, your um, your abilities to get your you know your uh, cooldowns reset in. Um, another thing is, is that people don't know is that you can actually cancel your um, grapple hook with other abilities, which you will most likely use the slam fist or the blade again once. So, for example, I could do this into a fist full momentum, you know, for my opponents in the air or going into um, a building or you know someone sitting camping on a roof. You know, I just throw them off by just you know literally flying at them at supersonic speed or like for example let's say um you know you you're in one of those like you, you know what i'm talking about like those train places where you grapple up but you can't initially get up now you can use this to even go higher to go above your opponents and then shoot them down and fly on top of them and do vice versa um also if you don't know even though you can't use the um the ripper to go upwards you actually use the gripper to go downwards so if you see an enemy like this you actually can do this to go you know, some 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 small tech that people don't know that can help them out in a fight that they don't know. Like they think they have to land on the ground and then use it. In reality, they can you know aim it downwards at certain angles and do it. And like I said, upwards wise, it's not the best, but you know you could definitely get across stuff like this by you know kind of aiming upwards. You don't always have to, but it definitely helps to get that little height. You know, just to make sure you don't bump your head or start gra um mantling and etc. Um, another movement tech that. This will help you a lot when you're going up buildings and stuff when you're going to fight people is you can actually cancel your um zip line into flight you can do stuff like this because usually you know when you normally um grapple up you know you have a small delay of not being able to shoot and your enemy has you know the upper hand it could kill you um and have you do this tech is you have to actually time it correctly because you can't do it early if you do it early all you do is jump off normally if you do it late nothing happens as you can see but as soon as you're about to hit the tipper of the um you know the zip line thing that is when you cancel it and then you can you know do stuff like that where you can just um start your flight instantly and it'll change it so for example you know those tall tall buildings literally as soon as you're about to come up you just hit them with the you know yeah like i said i'm gonna make mistakes it's not perfect but you know you know someone's waiting there for you because you know you're chasing them you just hit them with the flight and then you come back and boom and they're like wait what the hell where, where does this guy go you know because you just swarm right in front of their face out of nowhere something definitely worth practicing this one but yeah um and I think that is all the tech fights that I have um, for this game. I actually don't think there's any other ones besides, I guess, you know, slide jumping. But I don't think it's that, you know, good. Oh, there is bunny hopping. So if people don't know, there is. Oh, my God. I, now I'm now I can't do this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So this isn't movement tech, but I think this is just information that everyone should know. And it's kind of in the movement department. So we're just going to, you know, share it. But yeah, so pretty much if you didn't know, you actually can cancel your um, flight animation when you're about to roll. So for example, you know, you're flying, you're chasing somebody and you just roll animation. You can't shoot that whole time. You actually can cancel that by just jumping again at the last second or a little bit higher because, you know, obviously if you uh, let go too fast, then you could break your legs. But if you do something like this where you're flying and you're chasing somebody, you're like, oh, I see someone, you can actually let go. And you won't lose your legs and you know you have the upper hand by having your gun out already um just you know small things that uh, a lot of people just don't know so you know i'm here to teach that and yeah i think that is all the movement tech that i know so far in um off the grid if there is any more that i missed that you think i should talk about or kind of explain a little bit better you're having trouble let me know in the comments leave a like if you like the video that tells me that you are enjoying this uh type of videos that i'm doing and informational videos that is helping people learn the game and stuff and um if you again enjoy off the grid videos hit the subscribe button guys and i'll continue them all right guys peace yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about living back home in a whole nother state home to la because she want to be famous got a nine to five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find out